Start. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Susil. I'm your manager. Uh, here we have uh, Bipin as a sous chef, uh, Rimpi uh, head chef, uh, and Susan the trainee. Uh, now uh, the, our sous chef uh, Bipin gonna tell you how to start a grill. Up, it's up to you, Bipin. Hi everyone. I'm Bipin. I'm the sous chef of this place. So Susan, today I'm gonna show you how to turn on the grill. So first what you have to do is you have to turn on the uh, gas at the high temperature then you have to look for the pivot button if there is any pivot button you just have to press it uh, till it's till it's on or if there is not you just have to get a long match stick and you have to place it in the burner side and then you have to you have to make sure that the grill is clean so that you can put the meat on the top and that's all about the opening the grill now over to you rimpi Hi, Sujan. I'm the head chef of today. I will explain it to you how to steak a grill. We have like different types of uh, cooking scales. So I will explain it to you in brief. And we have like a uh, rare, rare medium, medium and well done. We got like different temperatures of that. So make sure whenever you're cooking, you set the temperatures accordingly. Because if you overdo that, they can burn the food or they can uh, overcook the food. So always make sure the temperatures are on the right. And we have like temperatures, the rare temperature is 55, 66 6 degrees Celsius. Medium is 71 degrees Celsius. Medium rare, we have 63 and well done we have 77 degrees celsius so make sure it's according to the customer like however they want the food they they demand sometimes like well done some prefers the medium so you just put the set the temperatures accordingly and then you cook for that and i will also explain it to you how you get to know like how they looks like so that you can have an idea while you are cooking it so you don't get confused so we have like different levels, like well done when it's grayish brown with no sign of pink. It's usually slight charred on the outside. It's like a well done. When you do the medium well, it's like mostly gray brown throughout, but with a hint of pale pink. And when you cook for the medium rare, we have warm and has mostly pink to red in the center of that. And rare is like cool or warm red. So make sure whenever you cook all these, you make sure how they looks like and always make sure the temperatures because we don't want any complaints for the customers and i will also while give you that demonstration i will also keep asking you whether you are getting uh, the same level or not so that you do not do any mistakes further so is there any question so far sujan no i'm good at the moment okay and can so you just yeah, I have one question. So how can we solve after grill it? Okay, we can do the plating Is by it? we can make the plate like we have the plate should be hot and we can put some gravy mm -hmm. on the top of it and some salads on the side and we can also garnish it with some veggies on it so that it should look, you know, more good and attractive so the customer seems like yeah the food is uh, really nice and uh, can you just explain it to me a little bit like what did you understand or something whatever so that i would know that you you getting what i'm teaching you okay first uh, first you need to hit your grill to high mm -hmm. so brush the steaks on both sides with oil and season season with salt and pepper yeah so, and place the steaks on the grill and Cook until the golden brown and slightly charred. Four to five minutes. Okay. Turn the steak yeah. over and continue to grill. Three to five yeah. minutes for medium rare. An internal temperature of uh, 135 degree Fahrenheit. Five to seven yeah. minutes for medium. Yeah. 140 degree for Fahrenheit. Or eight to ten minutes for medium well. 150 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, that's really good. Okay. Sounds like you have learned so many things because obviously because the main part is the temperatures because uh, once we set the temperatures so that we can cook the food accordingly because it is the main part because it's all depends on the customer demand like how they need it, the well done or something. So it is the main part and you should also know by the side like how they looks like so that you can have an idea that you're cooking the food on the right temperature and on the right way. 
so it's all good and then also bipin will explain you as he is the sous chef so he can also explain it to you like how we clean the grilled steak sujan so uh, sorry bipin can you please explain it to that so after after grilling the steak so first thing you have to do is clean the grill uh, either we clean it with a, a steel brush or aluminum so we just mm -hmm. scrape it or either you can do it like deep cleaning every once a week and then mm -hmm. you have to just make sure that there is no stains on the grill so that the the meat won't be burnt and there is no burnt meat in the grill so that's yes. all about the cleaning the grill so susan you are going good with the cooking hope you will be doing yeah, good yes you and also good. yes and also like the main things you have to consider is the temperatures and the marination like you marinate with the salt and pepper like you just concentrate on the right marination and the temperatures rest you will get to know it's not that hard so you'll good so far i believe all good for now sujan any questions so far i just wanted to one ask one question to our head chef Mm -hmm. So after we grill the steak, so we have to transfer it to the cutting or chopping bowl and rest for five minutes before slicing. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Good. It's gonna absorb all the oily part and bloody part, so it will be easy to sort after yes, we correct. put it in a rest for five minutes. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you are right on that part. So all good for so now. So that's it. All good for now. Yeah okay that's it